Good morning, Crypto Family. I'm back with another update. Right now, we're sitting at 1221. Family, understand this. These whales that are buying in, they know what's coming up in the future. And what I mean by that is in a couple of months, a year from now. But think about it. There's only 117,000 holders that's holding Doge on Mars. Now, think about it. When most coins come out, major investors want to get in early. They get in early and hold because they know the gains that we will make. Understand this. We, our all-time high is uh, 2280, I believe. 2280. So just think about it like that. As what I was telling you, telling you guys last night, they are not sweating. You guys are sweating. You can't be sweating like that, man. Into this crypto space, you can't sweat what the price is and this and this. You got to have a mind of an elite. You understand what I'm saying? So here's a tweet that I seen. Organs are in high demand because of this. Biomanufactured organs are viewed by many as the next frontier of scientific research and development. Give Dog Along Warriors a follow. Medusa Foundation, you know, where they are able to 3D print vascular tissues. This is what they're trying to do for long, long activities, you know, to live long, to be able to take deep space travels. Like, if you guys are asking what utility does Dog and Long Mars has, I mean, come on. There's a whole bunch of utility that they have. This is going to be the interplanetary coin, man. So, like, I don't understand. Think about PayPal. PayPal uh, owner, Theo, and Elon Musk are working together, man. Elon Musk, Starships to Mars. And why I say that, Theo, the owner of... PayPal donated seven million dollars to Methuselah for the aging process. See, Elon Musk doesn't want to live that, you know, like he's not trying to live forever. But he's trying to make it whereas, you know, we can have a good time living a little longer and then, you know, we'll pass away, you know. But other than that. I don't know why you guys are not, you know, feeling bullish the way I'm feeling because, you know, the markets ain't up. But it's not just Methuselah that holds Dogalon Mars. It's not just only those major whales are holding Dogalon Mars. Don't you guys also understand, too? Elon was received through a generous donation from Vitalik Buterin, a co-founder of Ethereum. Okay? He holds it. He, it says it was expected that Buterin would permanently retain his Elon holdings. Like, found we're going to Mars. You guys are forgetting the key elements. Vitalik Buterin, uh, Theo, who owns PayPal, that's trying to fight the, you know, anti-aging. And, you know, this can blow. You just got to have patience, man. Just chill. You know, but at the same time, we're sitting lovely. We're sitting lovely where you can be able to afford this price to be able to stuff your bags. And if you can't stuff your bags, I understand. Not everybody can do that all the time. But these whales, they are stuffing their bags because they know the average American can't afford like how they can spend. You get what I'm saying? So stay focused, stay solid, and I'll see you again in the next video. Announced that uh, when Mr. Trump, whether you uh, love him or hate him, this was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. See, I know what he was going to do. I knew what he, and I know what he's going to do now. And he hasn't even got started. Now, what are you, you going to tell your kids and your grandkids 25 years from now when they say, gee, daddy, gee, grandpa, what were you doing other than having your thumb up your big fucking ass during the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the world? What were you fucking doing?
fuck all, nothing. That's what most of you will tell them, your grandchildren and your children. It's never going to get any better than this, kids. This is the, as I said on YouTube, the eye of the perfect motherfucking storm. This is it. I never thought I'd live to see it again. This is going to make the 80s look like a nursery rhyme, which I praise Allah, praise Buddha, praise God. I participated in slashing and raping everybody in the 80s, legally. This is going to make that look like a fucking nursery rhyme. And what are you going to tell your kids? Oh, I had to spreadsheet it. I had to think about it. I had to read another book on m and you fucking morons. <laughs>